Hopefully this is the last time I do this. Hopefully I can drive it next time. How's it going guys? Uh, another day here and you probably guessed it, I didn't paint the car. No, I went to get the tires, which uh, worked out really well. I got 11 tires, kind of an odd number, but whatever. I took the whole stack of them, because uh, it's hard to find 14 inch semi-slicks. But yeah, went out went out to Waihee, which is, uh, I don't know, an hour and a quarter drive out. Was there for a little bit, talked to the guy. By the time I got back, it was raining, yeah. And then the following day, I planned to paint the car, and nah, nah, it was raining. But it was good, because I got uh, a bunch of work done on my ECU which I think we are golden now. I think we're all good on the computer front, so really excited about that. Another thing off the checklist. But yeah, I have until about three, four today. Humidity is relatively low. It's sitting about 60%, so hopefully that's gonna be all right for the paint. Um, it's on the high side of humid, but you know what? I'll take what I can get because it's supposed to keep raining and raining and raining. So let's try to get a coat of paint on the car. Let's do it. We got all the dust blown off the car and uh, I'm just gonna prep a couple pieces here. I got the uh, little wing thing that I did last time and I just wasn't happy with it. I didn't put enough thinners in the paint so it's kind of uh, orange peely. Um, so I'm gonna give it a quick sand and then we'll hit it with another coat today. Uh, I also have a new bumper trim piece that if you remember from one of my last videos that uh, was all rusted out on the car. This one's white but it'll turn gray today. So uh, yeah, let's start with those and the and the uh, door mirrors as well. We'll see how much this wind affects us because it's quite windy today. But yeah, let's get into it. So we got a couple different guns that we're uh, we're shooting with. I got uh, two HPLP guns. And all I'm gonna do is fill them up with some paint thinner and just give them a spray because I'm not sure which nozzles on which. Um, yeah, Bruce had no idea. It's all good. Fill them with some thinners and let's we'll see how their spray powder looks. That's the one there. I don't know if you can tell, it's got a nice, nice wide stream. Oh, I just ran out of thinners, but yeah, nice wide stream. That'd be good for a nice even coat. So let's, uh, let's mix up some paint and hopefully the wind doesn't affect it too much. Let's get into it. Okay, so about to pick mix up the, uh, the paint here. And I know I've mentioned this a few times now, but uh, when I did the interior coat, did not put enough thinners. It ended up with uh, kind of some orange peel-like finish, and uh, this paint is actually supposedly really good about just kind of leveling itself out. So I am going to put a lot more thinners in this time. Uh, sort of just splash before, mostly because my measuring cup just didn't fit all the thinners that I wanted to put in it, which is not a good enough excuse. So yeah, I am going to mix it in the measuring cup, mix the paint in the hardener. I'm going to pour it into the paint, uh, paint can, paint spray gun, and then add the thinners because I got a bit more volume in there. This thing's only about yeah, 600 mils at most, and I'm doing uh, 500 mils of paint, so that's all right. Put that down. Got my stir sticks that I left hmm, somewhere. Okay, sir. Uh, 
Alrighty, let's see if I can do this without making too much mess. Measure this out, bro. What I've done is I made a 100 mil line and a 400 mil line. Yeah, that wasn't very smart of me. Very bad. Alright then, take number two of this. <laughs> that was just uh, maybe I'm being a goof. So, I got two lines here 400 mils, 500 mils. That'll be four parts paint to one part hardener. Try this again, shall we? One, two, three. Yeah, again, I'll mix this guy up a little bit here, uh, pour it into the paint gun, and then add the thinners in the paint gun and do another mix. You may be shouting at me through the computer screen when I say that. It's all right. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm learning as I go. If this doesn't work out, I'll try it differently another way. I should probably have a disclaimer in every episode of this that, uh, yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. And that's okay with me. We'll learn it as we go. Alright, you probably remember me having huge trouble pouring the thinners last time too, it was just splashing everywhere. But uh, this will be a little bit easier because now... Come on. Just put it up to the lid. go. Still a bit messy. Would have been nice to have something to hold it with, but uh, sorry. Let's spray some paint. Well, I got the first coat, second coat on the car, and uh, you sort of see there, it's all right. I'd say it looks uh, 80%. I have a few runs. Uh, I'm all right with that. I'm learning. Uh, yeah, now I know. The thinner is, you know, it's thinner paint. It runs easier. It totally makes sense. But uh, yeah, it's just, you know, learn by experience. But it's all right. It's my car, not a show car. She's got paint on her, and hopefully that'll help the rusting. So. 
I'm gonna wait for it to dry completely today. Uh, tomorrow I'll come back at it, I'll sand out those runs and then I'll throw just a sort of final skim coat on it and then she should be, should be past the paint stage. Fingers crossed. All right guys, I will, uh, I'll see you soon. Have a good one. From my uh, lessons learned blog as well, these tire protectors, yeah, make sure they're tied down well if you guys are doing this outside. Because what happened is they kept flapping, flapping in the wind, and then they'd stick to the paint where it was wet. It was, it was just a big mess. So, yeah, if you're gonna protect your tires like this, you know, make sure they're taped down well behind. Or I don't know, I don't know what I do. I, I just leave them off next time because it didn't have too much overspray, and you know the wheels aren't perfect anyway. But yeah, that's just me.